Straight leg bound. The student stands with his or her feet hip width apart. Swing the lead leg forward with the knee fully extended to begin the first bound. To match the range of the lead leg, the opposing arm sweep forward. To prepare for a dynamic landing, quickly return the lead leg to the ground with the foot dorsiflex. When landing, aim for midfoot contact and toe stance with little knee flexion. Continue this cyclical bounding movement for 10 to 20 meters by driving the free leg knee forward. Speed bound. The student stand with feet hip with apart. Begin the bound by moving the lead leg knee forward in a somewhat flat trajectory. To match the range of the lead leg, the opposite arm sweep forward. To prepare for a dynamic landing a few inches in front of the center of mass, quickly bring the lead leg back towards the ground with a foot dorsiflex. On landing, Aim for a midpoint impact and a toe stance with minimum knee flexion. Drive the free leg knee forward quickly to begin the second bound. And continue in this cycle, cycling bounding movement or motion for 20 to 30 meters. Crossover bound. The student stand with feet hip with apart. Begin the bound by driving the lead leg knee forward and across the body midline. To match the range of the lead leg, the opposite arm sweep forward and across the middle line of the body. The bound flying pace should be brief, with an emphasis on the ground contact quality rather than bounding this back. Prepare for ground contact with a foot dorsiflex and a strong but rapidly midpoint landing as the lead leg lowers towards the ground. To begin the second lateral crossover bound, quickly thrust the free legs knee forward and over the midline of the body. Repetition this movement for 10 to 20 meters. Karyoka bound. The student stands to the side of the travel direction. Begin the bound by driving the distant leg knee across the body for the longest distance possible. Push laterally after landing to accelerate the body sideways and gain space on the next step. To maintain balance and generate more lateral power, the student should swing the arms in opposition to the leg. On the next lateral stride, the student will step behind the body. This stride will be the substantially shorter but it will retain the lateral motion momentum. To accelerate over the distance of 10 to 30 meters, the student shall continue to bound across the body with the stride in front and then the stride behind the body.